Hey everybody, Skinny Mitch here. Uh, this is a follow-up video um, from the one I did about the gauntlet uh, called Back Off Your Bottle. Um, there I was just trying to inform people um, of what to do and what not to do. Um, so this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, physically what I'm talking about. Uh, two things. Um, I have a bigger bottle on and the uh, pressure gauge is bigger. So for most of you, there's going to be a lot more room um, backing your bottle out. Uh, so that being said, let me just do this real quick here. Okay, so here's my 25 caliber gauntlet. Let's see if I can get in here. There's the feel nipple. See how it's lined up in this square so that you can fit your fill whip in, right? Same with the pressure gauge. So what's happening are, is people are getting their gun, they're pulling off the shroud, they're putting on a different bottle, regulator, or whatever, uh, just doing what air gunners do. Then they go and they screw the bottle all the way until it stops, they slide their shroud on, and it won't go on because this is not lined up, it's at an angle. Okay. So, what you do is you empty the air out of your bottle and turn it in until it stops. Okay. Then back it out by eye and get your fill pressure gauge or, and your fill nipple. Right? Align the best you can. Level and I guess that would be parallel. Then you slide your shroud on. If it doesn't fit, right, go ahead and just back your bottle out a little bit. Get your shroud. Then fine tune it. You know, um, get it as close as you can lined up in the middle of this square. Right? So that's pretty simple, right? You just let the air out of your bottle and you back the bottle out. Don't do it by loosening the bonnet screws and backing out your bonnet cap. Okay? That leaves room for the movement like I was saying in that video. But real quick, I want to make this video not super long so you guys don't get bored, but here's the actual bo uh, bottle that goes on there. Okay? Slides in. I'll show you the fill nipple side. And that's about where it rests in there, right? Okay, so you go, you slide your shroud on, it doesn't fit, and this is at an angle, right? So I realize this is a camera, so if I'm turning it one way or the other way, it might be uh, opposite of what I'm saying, but so it's at an angle, right? It's touching right here, the shroud won't slide on, so let the air out of your bottle. Right? Eye it out the best you can after you turn it. You know, I suggest you turn your bottle all the way until it stops and then back it out until it lines up in here. Right? So my black little cap here is like interfering. Okay. See? So it's at an angle. I'm trying to do it here to where I'm backing it out. So this way would be turning it in okay this way would be backing it out so if it's at an angle either way okay just turn the bottle until it lines up all right of course you got to imagine the rest of the gun here right but just turn it till it lines up turn it around look at your pressure gauge all right maybe wiggle it around that way too then once you get to that point you just Make sure your bottle stays where it is. Put your fill whip on. Fill it with air. And once you do that, you're good to go. Um, unless you let the air out of your bottle, um, it will not wiggle. And you'll maintain your alignment. It'll, it'll never move. All right? So that's the basics of it. Um, I hope that clarifies things. Um, well, not clarify things, but helps you understand um, what I was talking about. And uh, 
you could see it for yourself what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't I'm going shooting tomorrow I didn't want to let the air out of my bottle it's too late for me to uh, run my compressor but uh, thank you for watching and understanding and uh, the good vibes that I got from my last video I appreciate that too alrighty so you guys enjoy stay safe